Hi everyone, it's Alfieman100 and I'm here to make another video. Uh, hopefully you like it. This will be a longer video uh, upon request. So uh, right now I'm in my room, as you can see. Uh, I'll just show you a glimpse of my bed. Uh, little sheep skinny, <laughs> I guess. Uh, anyway, I have my little furry hoodie and uh, very soft from Azos. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you some jackets. Uh, and let me know what you think. Okay, thanks, bye. Well, here I'm wearing my black furry hoodie and the pouch has fur inside and the hoodie is very light and I love wearing this out and uh, has drawstrings, very soft. I love it. Yeah, very soft from ASOS and uh, yeah, I just like wearing it. Feels really good. Now this jacket is from Arctic Army. As soon as I saw one, I said I have to have one. I love it. It has an A on the sleeve. Very soft fur raccoon collar. That snaps off, by the way. And inside it's very soft. Feels like real fur. It's just so soft. And the jacket's very light, too. And comfortable. Yeah, it's a waist. Goes up to the waist. Uh, yeah, very masculine looking jacket. And uh, I just love it. So this one is Arctic Army. And they're based in England. And yeah, just couldn't resist. Oh, feels good. This is my Boda Skins jacket. It's called the Asteroid. And this one I got from Boda Skins in England. And it has my name tag right there. That's optional. I couldn't resist to link my name to the jacket. And it's very smooth. Looks like suede, but it's not. It's very smooth and comfortable. And uh, yeah, the collar, there's a double collar. You can unzip one of the collars. And it has belt buckles and belts on there. And very masculine looking. Two pockets on there. And it comes in this grayish color that looks kind of worn in, but it's not. It's actually brand new and very nice and sturdy and it goes up to the waist and uh, yeah I just love it feels really good leather feels really smooth and soft now this is my Aravex sheepskin RAF Irving jacket replica I say replica because the real ones are older and real I guess anyway uh, this is very comfortable. I got this jacket on eBay for about 500 bucks. And this jacket is very sought after. I haven't been able to see any other ones that were for sale uh, that are in this condition. And this has uh, the zippers on the sleeve, which uh, are good to open up when you're feeling a little hot uh, yeah very comfortable I clean the jacket with the leather with neat's foot oil and mink oil and that kind of darkened it up a little bit and the fur sheepskin part I cleaned with uh, fur cleaning spray or uh, like the Build-A-Bear spray that they sell uh, if you're familiar with that uh, I spray braid it all up you brush it in and it kind of foams up a little bit you let it dry and you brush it out again and it cleans out the fur yeah so that really works and uh yeah very sought after jacket wherever i wear it people look at me and go wow where'd you get that jacket 
and where can I get one? <laughs> it's really hard to find because I got this like on eBay, second hand. So anyway, very, very nice. Now this jacket is my remade excelled leather jacket. I took it in to get the lining redone and the collar redone. And I requested a larger collar and I drew the shape of the collar, how much I wanted, and uh, the fur lining. I uh, got the same matching color, and it's very soft. They did a really good job. I'm impressed. And uh, yeah, this is just a regular XL jacket that you would buy. I had to get a bigger size uh, just so I could fit into it, I guess. And uh, yeah. Leather is very new looking. I bought the jacket originally on eBay, but the lining was kind of matted and the uh, collar was kind of dingy. And I said, you know what? I like the size of it. The leather was strong and sturdy, so I took it in. I mailed it in. And uh, look what they did. They made it really soft. I'm really impressed, and the collar is so big that I love it. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Now this is my jacket from Noble House in Ulm, Germany. I'm sure you've heard of them before. Anyway, if you haven't, look it up. Noble House. Anyway, this is a jacket from Germany that I loved when I first saw it. It's called a kennel jack. In German, jack is a jacket and kennel is channel. And in the German war, I guess, back then, they flew over the English channel and uh, they wore these jackets and they called them a kennel jack. So, an uh, English Channel jacket, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a good history buff, but anyway, <laughs> I just love this jacket. I bought this many years ago, uh, about maybe 10 or 15 years ago, and I sent it into my favorite leather repair people, and they repaired the collar and the wind flap. There was nothing really wrong with it, but when I got the jacket, I was kind of disappointed because the collar and the window flap were kind of carpet feeling. Felt like a carpet, and I didn't want that. I wanted a furry feel. So I sent it in, and there's the result. And I love it. And I even told them to make the collar a little bit bigger. I love big collars. Yeah. But the jacket was only about 500 euros back then, and uh, I love it. And I tried to sell it at one time. I'm so glad I didn't. It was on eBay for about a week, and nobody bought it. Thank God. So here I am with it back in my possession. Oh, it feels very good. This is one of my favorite jackets, too. This one, I bought it years ago. It doesn't have a tag on it. Uh, yeah, but I love the lining on it. And the collar that it came with originally was a smaller, darker, furrier, kind of like hairy, like collar. I took it into my favorite uh, leather repair people again. I said, I want that collar bigger. And they kind of know what I like already, I guess. And uh, they made the collar larger like I wanted it. And here's the end result. And the lining... I love and it fits me very very nice and yeah I love it and, uh, it's one of my favorite I feel very nice this is my Cirrus sheepskin flying jacket from Cirrus UK the UK they make beautiful jackets I think most of the jackets I own are from the UK this one was one of my first jackets that I bought, and it looks kind of broken in a little bit, but I cleaned the leather, 
with mink oil and it's very soft very sturdy and warm and yeah the reason i like this jacket is because it does not have the furry puffy cuffs on the sleeves at the end i mean if i roll them up yeah but that that's not how it comes it just doesn't have them I guess. anyway so the sheepskin is very soft yeah the collar has one belt and one buckle and it zips up very nice and uh, yeah so this is one of my first sheepskin jackets and I love it still comfortable fur throughout the sleeves inside and yeah very very nice I love it this is my other Boda Skins jacket, which I love. I got it for about the same price, and I have a name tag there too. And uh, I got it for the same price as my other Boda Skins jacket, about 600 British pounds, which now they're like double the price. Wow, I can't believe it. And it's only been like a year or two ago that I bought these. Uh, yeah. Very soft. This jacket is like a reverse version of the asteroid jacket. Same concept, double collar, one can zip off. It has built uh, on this collar along with the buckles and uh, yeah, very nice and comfortable and snug. It feels very soft. Uh, you can give somebody a hug. Has a little Union Jack on the sleeve. And yeah, so I would just love someone to come and give me a big hug, maybe, uh, just so they can feel <laughs> what it feels like. But yeah, this is one of my favorite jackets, my Levi Trucker jacket. I had one years ago. My friend borrowed it without telling me. It got stolen. So uh, I had to have another one in my possession. Yeah, very nice, very well taken care of. I got this one on eBay too for about 70 bucks. Yeah, not a bad price. If you look at them now, they're very hard to find if you want the right one. This one looks like one of those original looking ones that I like. Uh, yeah. So. This is my genuine leather jacket that I had sent to get redone. Uh, originally, the lining was a white color, but I sent it back and got a brown fur mouton lining with the fur collar. They redid the whole collar. The collar was matted a little bit. I didn't like it, so I had it redone. And they made everything look really furry soft and I love it very warm feels very nice I'm impressed it was about a little expensive about 600 bucks but that's for full fur mouton lining and the collar and I'm not disappointed at all. So if you ever want to have your jacket redone, let me know. And I'll let you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So. It looks good. I feel good. I'm happy. And this is just one of my jackets that I have. That I love to wear. This is my big coat from Kazakhstan. I bought two originally. I bought one, but I sold it because I thought maybe I'd get a smaller size, thinking uh, I wanted it to be more snug on me, but it's not how they come. They come as a big coat. So if you want a coat, you want to get a big coat. And my second time around, uh, I'm glad I got the same size almost 
Um, so yeah, it fits me perfectly. It's warm. And I did originally request an oversized collar, oversized fur collar. First one I got had an oversized fur collar and I really loved it. It's fur lining in the sleeves, both sleeves, and uh, very warm. I just can't wait for winter. Man, yeah, this is a coat to get. Yes. This coat is a Borg Alaskan coat. It's very light, very soft. I love it. Golden lining, and I wear it every time. There's a holiday like Christmas or Thanksgiving or New Year's. I just love to wear it with a tuxedo or a bow tie and just walk around. It's like, man, it just feels so good and warm. And it's not so heavy that I have to take it off. I leave it on throughout the whole night. Yeah, very nice. I change the buttons to look like a peacoat. So... It has that peacoat vibe, and I love it. Yeah, so if you ever want a coat like this, they're very cheap. I got this for about 30 bucks. Can you believe it? Very nice on eBay. Borg Alaskan. Very nice. Now, this is my Wilson's jacket. I bought one for me, one for my friend, and we both have similar jackets, and... We call these our drinking jackets. Why, I don't know. Anyway, we wear them. It's cold. We're drinking beers, drinking whatever, and watching the game or TV, and uh, very comfortable and not too heavy and furry all throughout in the sleeves around the collar the lining very nice this is from Wilson's and this one had a hoodie but it came off but the other jacket doesn't have a hoodie but they're very similar I just love these jackets too yes I'd recommend one yes this is my big Russian fur I just got recently I call it my big Russian bear coat because it's so heavy and I just received it from Russia, literally from Russia. It took like a month to get it shipping. It got returned and it came and finally have it. And there you go. It's just so warm. Man, this is so heavy. I need to wear it in the winter. It goes down beyond my knees. And I'm like about six foot tall. And it's longer than I thought and but it fits my arms and it's very warm and very soft but yet heavy and it has a little belt around the back which stays there can't adjust it but anyway very soft I love it and I think the Russian company that I bought it from is somehow not able to sell coats anymore so I got lucky and I only bought it for about 300 bucks I think very soft very soft very nice yes now this jacket is an excelled jacket I have about three or four actually maybe six of them but this one fits me very nice and uh I would recommend if you don't have one, you should get one. Very nice. Every man should have a bomber jacket. At least it looks like this. Yes, I love it. Yes, feels nice. Very nostalgic. I don't think they make these anymore. But they're way uh, sought out for, I think. At least I'm <laughs> one of the ones that are seeking these kind of jackets. So that's why I have six of them. But the fit isn't always right, so I have to get the right fit for me. So, yeah. Anyway, this one fits me. 
size 46 and it's from excelled and the fur on the collar is very nice and soft and clean and the leather is very sturdy very strong not wore out or anything not dried out or anything so i love this jacket oh yeah i would recommend this one yes very much now this jacket is uh one of my favorite soft furry inside lined suede jackets that i really really love i wear it when i can it's my go-to jacket i just get up if i'm late something i grab it wear fur lining in the sleeves fur in the collar this jacket is one of my favorites i got this on ebay for about 30 dollars and man once i saw it i was like yes i have to have that jacket and sure enough it feels so soft so soft one of my softest fur lined jackets oh, 30 bucks you can't beat it yes second hand can't beat it i love it no smells or anything it feels so good this is another jacket I have, Perry Ellis Portfolio Jacket. Very soft lining, very soft. I bought this one on eBay also, and uh, feels very good. This is my other go-to jacket. If I'm ever late, I just grab it and go. No time to explain why I wear it. <laughs> Really, all the other expensive jackets that I have, I have to explain. This is from someone. So this one, it's just soft and furry. It just speaks for itself and warm. All inside, furry all inside the sleeves. Very nice suede. Very nice. Feels so good. Look at it. Look at that. Feels so soft inside. Yes, this is another jacket I bought from eBay. Very nice and very cheap too. Very nice. Here's my next coat I had to buy. I bought this for 99 bucks on the internet. And I just saw this guy wearing this coat. I'm like, who's going to wear this coat? Who is going to be bold enough to be out and about wearing this coat? Well, I decided I'm going to be one of those guys. And I bought it feels so soft oh man it feels so soft and nice and comfortable and light yeah will i wear it out and about i don't think so i'll wear it at home wear it in my backyard wear it around the house man it, it's just so nice i'll make it full blast cold so i can enjoy it but man this is one of these coats that you just kind of have to have Okay, this is my most expensive jacket. I bought this jacket for 1600 bucks, And it's my Eastman Leather B3 Bomber Sheepskin Jacket. They're in high demand. And very hard to buy, I guess. So yeah, here it is. And uh, leather is very sturdy. has straps for the neck. For your collar to wrap around your neck it has a little logo and the fur uh, around the cuffs aren't so much and the fur lining is very soft and now this is my fur hoodie uh the tan color uh from asos and it's the version that is a little lighter but same as the black one that I have. I just had to show it off. And I just want to let you know, uh, thanks for watching my video. And uh, I hope to show you some more jackets soon. So uh, stay tuned and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.